Now let's do a crossover to Germany where the newly formed government is addressing the country's parliament, the Bundestag. Germany's Social Democrats decisively backed another coalition with Chancellor Angela Merkel's conservatives last week, clearing the way for a new government in Europe's largest economy after months of political uncertainty. Political correspondent Kate Brady is standing by uh, with some information. Kate, what more can you tell us about this meeting at German's parliament? Well, this was Angela Merkel's first chance today since she was sworn in as Chancellor for the fourth time last week uh, to address Parliament and really set out uh, what this new grand coalition plans to do over the next four years. And it was a very balanced speech, um, which already kind of reflects that she is at least listening uh, to the concerns of German voters um, on domestic issues. Um, but that was balanced out almost 50-50, really, and um, with lots of um, international issues. She she spoke a lot about migration um, and also criticised, voiced some very strong criticism today uh, towards Turkey and Russia for their role in the Syria conflict. Um, and so it is clear, you know, Merkel knows that Germany really has to step up um, during the next four years or now three and a half years um, during this term in office as there is a lot of expectation and a lot of pressure during what are very much uncertain, ti uncertain times already since she was sworn in last Wednesday. There have been numerous uh, international issues which Germany has already had to jump to, um, including um, that attack on the former spy in, in the UK. Um, and so the world is expecting Germany to take a stronger stance now on the world stage. Mm. Let's talk about Africa. She mentioned Africa in her uh, speech as well today. What exactly did she, did she say? Well, this was all linked back to migration, and she said that it was Germany's responsibility uh, to make sure that everyone has the best chance in life. And in terms of migration, she wants to work on ensuring uh, that problems um, at the root, at the root of the cause of migration, are actually solved to make mm. sure that everyone has the best chance in life. Now, right. in the uh, Grand Coalition uh, deal, which was signed just a couple of just a week or so ago, um, the Africa African region is mentioned 28 times, um, which is uh, quite a new thing for uh, for German politics. Right. Unfortunately, uh, the continent has often been pushed to the sidelines of German politics, and so clearly uh, the region is at the forefront and, and quite a large priority for the government uh, okay. during this term in office. Of course, over the last year, the ball was already set rolling while Germany um, held the presidency for the G20. They uh, launched the initiative there to increase private investment and investment in infrastructure in Africa mm. and there's also uh, the proposed uh, Marshall Plan um, which would in turn rewrite uh, Germany's aid investment in okay. Africa. So there is a lot of work and a lot of plans to uh, push uh, those bilateral relations between Germany and African countries over this term in office. Kate Brady, let's say a very big thanks to you for this information. Kate Brady is political correspondent with our partners, DW, uh, joining us live from Germany with that information. You're still watching the polls with May Gifty and Opia.